In this video, I'm going to highlight two parts of making one of the short row spikes from my Who Spiked the Shawl pattern. And before you rewind the video to try to see what I'm doing here, don't worry, I'm just going to introduce the concepts I'm going to demonstrate, then I'm going to zoom in on what's happening with the knitting here and break it down, so bear with me. The first thing I'm going to show here is knitting backwards, which is not necessary to the pattern, but if you choose to learn and work like this, it will save having to turn the work back and forth at the end of every short row. Uh, the second thing is closing up the spike on the wrong side by knitting the live stitches together with the stitches from the first row of the spike. Beginning with the backwards knitting, the trick to this is to mirror working a purl stitch from the wrong side. Here you'll see me finishing a right side row by wrapping the next stitch on the left hand needle. Then, rather than turning the work, as for most short row instructions, instead I'm going to work the stitches backwards so that the new stitches end, end up back on the left hand needle. You'll see I'm inserting the left hand needle under the first leg of the stitch behind the right hand needle and wrapping the working yarn over the left hand needle and between the two needles, then pulling the yarn through with the left hand needle. So you can see that new stitch created on the left hand needle rather than the right hand needle. I'm working on the second side of this spike, so I've already used short rows to knit to the point, and now I'm continuing the journey back down the other side of the triangle. This means that when I'm wrapping the stitches at the end of the short rows, I'm actually adding a second wrap to the one I've already created in the, on the way up the spike. I continue knitting backwards across the row until I reach the stitch that already has two wraps, and this stitch I'm going to knit backwards together with its wraps. To do this, just as with knitting in the quote-unquote normal right-to-left direction, you'll want to lift those wraps up onto the working needles with the stitch they're wrapped around. So let's just look at that one one more time. So you can see here I've slowed things down a little bit. So I've got that stitch on the left needle. I've slipped it over to the left needle so that I can use the right needle to pick up those two wraps, put them on the left needle with the stitch, and then I'm going to knit them backwards together. Sticking that right needle through the fronts of all three loops this time and pulling them off onto the left hand needle. And then that next stitch is the last stitch in the short row, and so I'm adding a wrap to that one. Now I've made it back to the base of the spike, and there's only one spike short row left to work. I'm going to close the spike. To do this, I'll use a left hand needle to pick up the corresponding stitch from the very first short row. So you'll see I reach behind the work and pick up the stitch that lines up with the first stitch on the left hand needle. I'll go ahead and show that again, slowed down a little bit and tightened up on the view. Uh, when you're working with variegated yarn, the color changes are helpful in identifying the right stitch here. You can see the red yarn that's on my right needle leads right into the purl bump I'm going to pick up. That's because the stitch that I've just wrapped in the last short row that's sitting on the right hand needle was knit in the same row as the stitch I'm now picking up. You can easily identify the right row to be picking up from because there's an interruption in the stockinette stitch just in front of where you worked a knit row on the wrong side to create that purl ridge just before the spike row started. So you're going to continue picking up stitches from behind and knitting them together with their corresponding live stitches all along this row until you reach the last stitch in the spike that's wrapped twice. Don't worry about knitting this stitch together with its corresponding stitch from the other side of the spike because this stitch has enough going on what with the two wraps you're going to knit it with already. Now you're ready to carry on down the row to the next spike. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can find me at www.fibersmith.com or on Ravelry.